Ball is thrown from ground at an angle theta with the horizontal with initial speed u0. <coughs> for the resulting projectile motion, magnitude of the average velocity of the ball up to the point when it hits the ground for the first time is v1. After hitting the ground, the ball rebounds at the same theta but with reduced speed u0 by alpha. Its motion continues for a long time as shown in the figure if the magnitude of the velocity of the ball for the entire duration of motion is 0.8 v1. The value of alpha is okay. So, mm, ball is okay. We'll 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 so average velocity kaise nikalte hain total displacement divided by total time okay to pehla ke liye like for the first uh, you know for this motion okay this is the first uh, time it hits the ground again this is the second time and this is the third time and so on so the first time if we see then uh, the range is going to be because that is going to be the total displacement so range is u naught square sine 2 theta divided by g and the time taken is 2u sin theta upon g okay so this is the average velocity so g g is gone okay u naught u naught is gone so this becomes a uh, 2u naught sin theta cos theta divided by 2 sin theta so basically this is u naught cos theta okay now um, for this is for the first one so for the second one it's going to be u naught by alpha cos theta this is the average velocity now uh, what has to be found out is if the magnitude of the average velocity of the ball for the entire duration of motion is 0 0.8 v1 okay okay okay, okay. So now average velocity we know no. So now what we have to do is basically we have to now okay. So this is for the first one, this is for the second one. But now we don't have to calculate for each and every one. We have to calculate for all together everything. So therefore it's going to be it's going to be total displacement. So therefore u naught square sine theta by g plus u naught square by alpha square into sine 2 theta by g and so on divided by so this is going to be the average velocity divided by 2 u naught sine theta by g plus to u naught by alpha into sine theta by g and so on so therefore what we do is u naught sine 2 theta by g and that becomes 1 plus 1 plus alpha square and so on this is going to be 1 by alpha 4 and so on divided by 2 u naught by g into sine theta into 1 plus 1 by alpha plus 1 by alpha square and so on okay. so this becomes so g g is gone u naught this is gone uh, this is 2 sine theta cos theta so sine theta and sine theta is gone 2 2 is gone so u naught cos theta so this is 
uh, this becomes u naught cos theta cos theta sorry and 1 plus 1 by alpha whole square and all okay so this becomes a by 1 minus r to the power n alpha square okay now because this is infinity so that's why we are taking this into again 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by alpha so this becomes u naught cos theta into mm, this is uh, 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by alpha okay now Okay, the magnitude of average velocity of the ball up to the point when it hits the ground first time, V1. So, V1 is actually U0 cos theta. Okay, so therefore, this whole thing is going to be 1 by 1 plus 1 by alpha is going to be 0 0.8. So, therefore, 1 plus 1 by alpha is going to be, so this is 10, this is Four. This is five. Going to be one point two five. One by alpha is going to be zero point two five. So alpha is going to be four. So therefore, the answer is going to be four. Okay. So again, I will explain what we have done here. So um, total displacement divided by total time. So this is displacement 1, this is displacement 2, this is displacement 3 and so on. So if you see the total displacement, okay, so this is d1 u0 square sine 2 theta by g, this is u0 square by alpha square because here uh, the u0 has decreased by alpha, so alpha times it has decreased, so therefore this formula comes and this is again for the time period, so therefore when we add the total displacement and this is going to be the total time taken and therefore you know we get uh, this entire 